Greetings, YouTubians. How's it going? Let me get a quick cup of coffee. Be sure to share the content. Be sure to share the content. If it wasn't for Gunny57, I wouldn't be on YouTube. Bam. It's like, man, put a face behind that video. Okay, there you go. Today's subject is Glocks. Glock, Glock, Glockity, Glock, 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 Glock 17, Glock. Glock 17, full size, love it. Okay, easy, take it apart. Boom. That. Look at that, see? Took the frame apart. Oops, I broke it. Yeah, right. The thing is, if you're going to own a firearm, it's good to know what you're dealing with inside the gun, not outside the gun. Not knowing how to load it, not knowing how to fire it, but what's happening inside. Now, most morons would think that this is a booger extractor or a nut crusher this here is a recoil spring because if you don't have a recoil spring well the gun will still operate but it won't operate the right way because when you fire the spring depresses it pushes the slide back eject the round load around boom and you're ready to and you're ready to go again you know, if I don't know how to take this apart and put it back together, then I don't need to own it. Now, how did I get into Glocks? Well, a long story short, when I first saw Die, when I saw Die Hard 2, which I have on Blu-ray, I got all the Die Hards, I don't care. And I'm putting it back together. Back together. Here's the ammo. Kiss my ass, YouTube. It's not in the gun. Oop! Push, pull the trigger, see? Nothing. Nothing's going to the ceiling. This is a safe and controlled environment, YouTube. Oh, you don't want me to point the gun at you? Sorry. This is a Glock. This is not a gun. This is a Glock. And it's a sidearm. So anyhow, Glock 7. When you say Glock 7 and Die Hard 2, I go, uh-uh. Glock 7? I go, huh. A plastic gun? <laughs> well, that's a first. Well, the bottom's polymer, but the slide is steel. And it's great. What got me initially into it is watching U.S. Marshals for like the second or third or fortieth time because I loved the movie. And Tommy Lee Jones was like, "Do yourself a favor, get yourself a Glock and lose that nickel-plated sissy pistol." I don't like nickel-plated weapons, by the way. I do not. I like it. just black, simple. So anyhow, that resonated in my mind. The 2011 incident and. It, Next thing you know, I fired it. Well, I fired a Glock 19. I rented it. And then my the magazine, I fired it and poof, ammo hit the ground. I got a few laughs. And I'm like, yeah, very funny. And so then I watched U.S. Marshals the same day that I went to the range. And then it hit me in the head again. Tommy Lee Jones, do so a favor. Get yourself a Glock. And I said, okay. If he has a Glock and he trusts it, then why wouldn't I? Okay, that's just his character. I'm sure Tommy Lee Jones has guns. But the thing is, it's like I said, okay. So I went back to the range and I checked out the 17. And when I checked out the 17, the 17 fit, fit more comfortable in my hand. Safe, unsafe. And then I said, okay, I'll make my purchase someday soon. I didn't wait too long, but then I got it. Clock 17. I mean, this is a simple gun. Simple. And God rest Gaston Glock's soul. God rest it. You know, God rest him soul. So, ooh, farted, sorry. If you do not know how to take this gun apart and put it back together, clean it, and ready for another shot, then you don't need to own it. Nobody needs to own a Glock. But the Glock is so darn good. I trust this with my life. Period. Huh? What's wrong, YouTube? Oh, sorry. There's a close-up of it. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that barrel. Bam. So, anyhow. You know, this is a tool, not a toy. It's a grown-up toy used to protect your house. Or whichever you prefer to protect. So, the thing is, 
if you're going to get your first gun, you know, get a Glock. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can get the 17, you can get the 19, you can get the 21, which is a 45, the 22, 40 full size, and a 23 semi full size, but still packs a punch. But, you know, 40 caliber round is nice, but the thing is, I'm not really. I got two types of ammunition 9mm and shotgun shells. I do not need to complicate my stockpile with an extra ammo. I can't do it. Ooh, damn. Them eggs really kicking in. So, the thing is, just consider, you know, never make your ammo selection complicated. And that's the reason why I have a 9mm Beretta. And I have a Glock 17, Tommy Lee Jones, 9mm, a shield. 9 millimeter again. And I have two shotguns. 12 gauge. Not 20 gauge. Not 410. But I do have shotgun shells too. Who knows? I might have more. You never know. But the thing is, is just never overcomplicate your ammo. Never overcomplicate your guns. This here is pure and simple. Pure and simple. See that? A Glock is a rock. This thing really puts out. So just remember, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a Glock. Yeah. People say that they're ugly. This gun's not ugly. This gun is not ugly. It's just simple. And the sights, I'm not pointing it at myself. See? The sights, see? The sights are easy. See? Look at that. Sights are very easy to acquire your target. And you know, I know more about this gun now than I've ever known about this gun in many recent years. Strong firing pin block. Very strong. You could drop this off a five-story building with a round in the chamber and it won't go off. However, the SIG P320, I would not want one of those. Or M17 that they gave the military. <laughs> oh boy, sig, 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 sig. This should have won the contract. Glock is a very good and reliable handgun. They should have gave those to the Marines. They should have gave them to the Army. But why the M17? But I'll tell you right now. Glock still reigns king. I'm sorry. It does. So, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a Glock. Okay? Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to T-Electric, subscribe to Trey57, I call him Gunny, I do, you don't. Subscribe to D-Eyes, and head on down to Yoki Stirrup. There you go. So anyhow, this is today's lesson. Get yourself a Glock. Glock 17. Preferably. This is what's comfortable for me. Easier to aim, easier to acquire a target. Boom. And there you go. Take care and be safe. Bye.